Hello guys, the Master of Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop back in with the Math Max strategy. Okay, so let's hop in. Um, you know what's crazy? It's currently about, oh, oh my camera's out of focus. Oh, okay, right, we're back. Oh, we both are in a rank up game? You're getting cooked. Oh, you're getting cooked. That's just game. That's just game. That's just game. Yeah, it's currently uh, 3 a.m. I was testing for YCS Vegas, blinked, and seven hours passed, and I was like, oh man, I still gotta record four videos tonight. So, here we are. Um, I think I'll be able to play pretty good, though. I was just testing a bunch. I don't feel tired. Um, okay, sun and mining, activate. Uh, I'll just discard a centric. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What if, what's, please don't ash this, please don't ash this. I could, I could play around Max C easily. I just have, I just ash it. Like, I feel so good right now. Summon, Sigma effect, summon back out of the graveyard. What are you going to do about it? Circular effect to go search. Okay, grab super factorial. Um, Albert, this will beat the imprint if they have it. You always imperm Albert, not circular, because this just grabs more. And then, also, it's like a way better choke point. Um, this will just grab the trap card, assuming that this goes through. Okay, I went through. Yep, we just grabbed the trap card because uh, we already have diameter in hand. We don't need an extender at this point because I'm going to go for a search diameter follow up. You could technically grab an extender here if you don't play the trap card, and you can still make IP by going Splash Mage, Heat Soul, Extender, IP. Um, just throwing that out there so if you don't play the other trap card, you still have like an, a good play that you can go for. Go ahead, summon. Yeah, I think I want to. I think I want to start saying more plays like that out loud while I'm playing because like stuff like this is like super basic. Um, oh, I should have gone. I should have just gone for the other play so I could show it off. Yeah, I'll do that next game, assuming that I go first. An open combo. Banish, go search, grab diameter. Uh, the other play is just the Devote play to make IP and try to end on that. Which I don't think... I, I don't think that play is actually better. Um, but I do want to show it off. I really like just going for Heat Soul. This card is so good. Yep, that is extra follow-up. Set back row, pass, and also, uh, this gives you a chance to draw into a, uh, like a bell. Currently, my list only plays one of it, so it's not going to be, like, that high of a chance, but drawing other hand traps, too, just gives me interruptions. Okay, that would have been, that would have been broken last turn. Holy, I don't lose the back row removal here. Oh, uh, they target this. Okay, I was going to say, if they target induction, I just chain this. If they target this, I obviously just chain it. Would rather have them target this and then target the other one because this only forces me to flip one even though they do know that the other one is induction at this point since they saw me search it so it's actually not really a difference uh go ahead special summon out bring out three and then i'm actually going to use the leprechaun effect to detach to protect i'll uh, just get an extra one of my math mixing graveyard go ahead summon yeah, because this will protect from jamming waves, and then I'll be able to use the effect to rip. So go ahead, uh, get rid of diameter, and then new chain link, effect, and then this will detach the sigma to rip a card from their hand. Let's see, chain widow anchor. Yep, that is force negate. Otherwise, you know, it's just obvious. Otherwise, I don't get to rip a card from hand. Because this is going to trade with this no matter what. May as well rip one. And then we still have Ash. Um, okay. That's fine. It's pretty good for them. Being able to get a card out of that Widow Linker still. But I'd rather have them do that than like normal Summon Ray. So I guess this is fine. They do get a spell out of this though. Hit the call button. They didn't call by diameter. Yeah, they're not real. That's fair. You would always do that. It also hurts the follow up. Please target this. They're going to for sure. That's fine. 
And then I just protect. Yeah, like I said, this person's not real. Um, could have played against an opponent that actually knew what they were doing. And then this would have been a lot harder of a game. This would have been a tough game. Holy, good thing this guy just sucks. Okay, uh... I'm going to go ahead and just induction Papa Yate and then they're on zero cards. Flip it here. Chainlink resolves. New Chainlink. Uh, holding down the on button so I can pop this. Because I don't want to have to Valor the Kagari. And then they just make shiz anyways. Uh, this just puts them on zero cards. That just guarantees victory. Um, that's just game. Yep, they'll just scoop. There's no point in playing this out. They know I have diameter to make access code. So, cool. On to the next game. Um, that person got perfectly countered, but they messed up really bad, so it doesn't, it doesn't feel very good to get that win. But yeah, like I was saying, I cooked, I was cooking for like seven hours today, seven, eight hours, something like that. Ooh, another rank up game? Okay, we don't get to go first. It is the Toad Mirror, and it's rank up, so this person's gonna lose, but... Wish I could have gone first, that way I could have shown the Link Disciple Devote combo where you tribute off Devote with the Albert effect uh, to summon back, get a lot of extra bodies, and then you can make a big Appalooza on their turn. And then you also can search out, I guess you'd search something, you can search a boing, please don't have the out, please don't have the out, I'm not gonna look, I don't have earbuds in either, I can't see, I can't see! Man, every time. I know it's going to sound really, really wild, but I actually thought about cutting Maxi. And I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get a lot of hate for it, but I actually thought about cutting it. Um, And let me explain my reasoning behind it before you instantly hate on it. So it is a very, very, very good card, but since people are over-prepared for it, um, your defensive cards which are like your non-engine, the cards that help you like from getting comboed and stuff. Um, you don't want your defensive cards losing to the opponent's defensive cards. Because if their defensives are trading with your defensives, then their engine should beat their your engine if they're going first. That makes sense. Um, and because everyone plays 3 Ash, 2 Called By, at least in their deck, um, the Maxi actually just gets countered a lot of the time by, like, an Ash Blossom, which wouldn't be able to counter your other hand traps. It would only be able to counter your engine. But your engine can actually play through Ash every time. Because, um, unless if, you know, I guess, like, I guess in this deck, like, Sign of Mining, it hurts. Um, Small World doesn't really hurt that much. Um, so I was thinking about possibly cutting the Maxi and just simply playing something else. Um, the Maxi also doesn't work with Small World in my deck list, which has came up a lot where I haven't been able to tag out Maxi, um, because Maxi, my Maxi nor my Parallel um, can truly tag out into a circular. So I thought about changing that. Um, it, it does sound kind of copium. It's, it's something I want to test out though and see if I actually like it, because in theory it makes sense, because I don't want my defenses losing to their defensives. Um, you can't really do much about called by. You know, you're not going to stop playing every hand trap. Oh, I also drew both trap cards. That sucks. And I know that they have super factorial equation. Yeah, I just lose this game. There's nothing I can do. So, see, see what I'm saying? Um, but I guess, like, right there, technically, against circular, all the low impacts don't do anything anyways. So, I would need a high impact card. I would need, like, a gamma to hit their uh, Albert with. I guess I'll go ahead and try to play. Maybe my opponent messes up. Uh, I'll do this very quickly, though. Because I just assume that they're going to play correctly. Summon circular. Um, okay, summon. Summon sigma before I start committing to link plays or anything. Okay, yep, that's fine. Yep, so summon all those back. This does take a while to resolve. Um... But it's because it's like, what are you going to replace the max C with at that point, right? Um, and that's what I need to decide on if I'm truly going to end up cutting it or not. Because this is all just some theory that I've done. I haven't actually put pen to paper yet and see what actually would change with my deck list. Because um, like something like Imperm would be able to dodge Ash and Called By. But it also wouldn't help with my Small World. Which I think could be fine though. Um, sadly they didn't end up ripping a trap there, which is what I really needed, so I'm just going to go ahead and admit defeat and not waste any more time, anyone's time. So, go ahead, um, they got the rank up, they won the Toad Mirror, unfortunate, hop into another match. 
Let's see, hopefully I can go first, that way I can show the Disciple Devotee combo. I have so much energy for it being 3 a.m. That is insane. That's actually just not good. That's not good at all. My sleep schedule is ruined. Actually, it's not that ruined because my sleep schedule, I need to correct it for Vegas. And my time schedule or my time zone is different than theirs. Like right now, it's 3 a.m. for me, but over there, it's midnight. And I want my sleep schedule to be where I can wake up around 8.30, um, like a.m. their time. Because that should be roughly the time I need to wake up for the YCS coming up. Not uh, not this upcoming weekend, but the weekend afterwards. Starting with Rota, it's probably just Striker, especially with the sleeves. Yep, go ahead, grab Ray. It's so interesting that people play Striker like this on Master Duel. It's cool to see, though. But it's just like, Striker and Master Duel compared to TCG is such a different deck. Um... Because there's Runic Striker in TCG, and there's Runic Striker in Master Duel, but it doesn't seem like anyone plays the Runic cards in Striker, which I think is just incorrect. The Runic cards help out a lot. If you can get the Runic stuff going, your deck is just infinitely better. But then you can't play the Hand Traps, and I guess it kind of sucks against... Math Mac. Oh, you could change your deck up something to make it better against it. I don't know, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try Striker Runic. That's probably something I should do. Well, they, they have Engage, right? Okay, Ash is a crazy draw. Now I play around Max C. You are so mad, kid. Don't do it to me. Don't call by me. Honestly, if you called by me, I just pass. I'm just Ashing right now. Yeah, cool. I'll just pass. I was going to say, I Ash so that way I could try to play this turn. But if you're just going to stop that, like, I'm not going to try to play under Max C. I'm not dumb. You played so many hand traps in your deck list. You shouldn't be dropping max C like this. That is a horrible max C. If you're playing a combo deck and you have a full end board, sure, I understand. But you're playing striker. So I can just hit the pass button and you can't do anything. Um, I don't even want a desires. Uh, kinda. I kinda don't want to. But at the same time, I know for a fact it goes through right now. So I kinda want to. Because next turn they will get at least one draw. Probably, they'll go for two draws actually, I think. I think I think I should actually desire this turn. Yeah, there's there's nothing that will stop it. And no punish at all. I used to like banish two parallel, unfortunate. Um, okay, so I drew an Ash anyways. Uh, I could go sign a mining, discard, go search. But that puts the Sigma Engraver, which makes it really vulnerable to a Shark Cannon. Which is what the Shiz... That's the only thing that Shiz would really be searching at end phase. So we'll just pass. Okay. Um, your name's Quan. Alright, so we got... Sign up, mining, discard, search for circular. Uh, small world can search for Archfina centric. I didn't banish any bridge, really. So everything's still there. Still the extra diameter for follow-up. What does this do? <laughs> nah. It just falls over. Okay, only sometimes. I don't think I stop this. I think I'll let that go through. Because it, it's like, think about it. Um, If you Ash this, they can just Kagari, add it back, and then grab what they want the second time. If you Ash the second time, that's way more likely to actually interrupt them and make them play bad. And I didn't go for Hayate first and then engage like I thought they were going to, to get the extra spell engraver to get two draws this turn. I feel like once you see like the non-engine with the full striker engine, it's really hard to lose. But also when you throw out like Maxi cross out against one card, um, you know, it becomes harder to win already. Uh, Sprite's supposed to come out in a couple days. Um, I'm kind of prepared for that. I have a decent amount of gems and ultra on my main account. So I should be able to obtain that deck. I don't know how many cards are actually going to be ultra. It's probably just going to be like Elf, Gigantic, Blue, Starter. That's probably those four. If I had to assume. Those were like the high rarity cards in the TCG. So I would assume those would also be the high rarity cards in Master Duel. Especially because like... Gigantic Elf for sure, no doubt in my mind those will be. And then, you know, they're going to want something else to be Ultra too. Uh, make people get more gems, especially because that deck's about to be insane. Um, my, my opponent's thinking very, very hard here about their play. They grabbed Link Age. Maybe they're trying to find a way for game. 
They're definitely just calculating math right now, and Ash will stop them. They don't have a game anyways. They're lying. Hayate, poke, dump, rose, linkage, 25, 25, 15. That's not enough. It's close, but you're like 2,000 off. And you're committing everything into it. Yep, oh, that's such a bozo play. I, I, I actually just won this game. My opponent's bad. There's nothing they can do. Like, they just wasted a whole card to perform a Link Summon that they were going to be able to do in main phase 2 anyways. Sure. That's fine. And they went for Hayate. So they're actually playing in the Veiler here too. So bad. So bad. I thought they were going to go for um, Kagari to maybe play around Veiler. I thought that's what maybe they thought I had. Since I thought on the engage, but I could have also very well just been thinking about Max C since I couldn't really Max C turn 1 against the normal Summon Ray. You don't dump Hornet Drones. You need that in your deck. You can't search engine with your shiz if it comes up. I definitely Ash, I definitely Ash Engage if they decide to activate it, which they will. I don't know their card in hand, it's a blank. Yeah, this is getting Ash with the quickness. That, that's a Snatch Steal. Like it's Widow Anchor Snatch Steal plus a draw. I can't let that go through. Like, if they have the out for it, they have the out for it. Because what else am I going to hit at this point? Like, I already baited the maxi. The card in hand's not maxi. At least I really hope it's not maxi. If it is... Um... Am I forced to push? I guess let's... What do they grab off this? Shark Cannon? Widow Anchor. Okay. Okay, uh, draw. Unfortunate draw there. Um, small world tag out Sigma, sign and mining discard small world. Yeah, okay. Um, grab Artuna centric, pop a back row, grab circular. If they have max C, it definitely gets dropped on this. Maybe they'll ash it too if they have it, which is also fine. Okay, go from Sigma to Valor to Eccentric. I think I, no, I already went through Crossout, so I can go through Nib to Eccentric because I don't have Crossout anymore, and that deck just plays around it. So grab this, and then I'll just scale this up and try to pop a back row now. Scale up. Effect the pop. Nah, Master Duel players are bad. I feel like they always put their good card in the middle. Oh. Uh, maybe it's just like a Shark King in the Banish. Um, you'd never Widow Anchor your own card against this matchup. Okay, they didn't even Banish. Sure. Um, Sign of Mining... I'm thinking, do I actually discard Small World? Because I kind of just want to discard Sigma. Now that I've hit Shark Cannon, I really don't think they have another one. Yeah, I'll just discard Sigma. Before, I was going to discard Small World. So that way I didn't, like, play into it there. But I guess I'm playing into it no matter what this turn. So that wasn't a good option or a good thought process. Because I'm going to Diameter no matter what at some point this turn. Circular Effect. The circle. Dump addition. If there's any build of sprites that you guys want to see specifically, uh, you should comment that down below. Because at first I'm just going to build the runic build. I actually just got normal summon diameter. Yeah, set up the negate early. One. Two. Summon back out. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made before and accidentally just completely throw against them. That will not be happening. I guarantee it. So I have Splash Mage, Transcode, Update Jammer. I have to do it differently. No, that's game. Okay, so I can game through kind of assuming that they don't have anything else.
We know they have Widow Anchor. Uh, Super Factorial kind of trades well into the Widow Anchor, too. Yeah, Sigma follow up. Activate. Maybe I should, uh, but I can't keep the negate up when I'm trying to go for that. Because it's Overlay, Albert, Search Edition, Summon Edition, Make Splash Mage. Splash Mage effect, Summon back out a random body from Graveyard. And then I can go into Transcode, Transcode, Summon back out Splash Mage, but then I'm missing a body to actually go for game. Um, so that's not even worth going for. I still think I go for Math Boy, though, to protect myself. Unless if I really think it's worth just going for Transcode. And just trying to go for game. So I can dodge Imperm while doing it. Which is kind of nice. And dodge Kyna. I think I actually just go for it. Splash Mage. Summon. Make Transcode. Transcode Summon back Splash Mage. Update Jammer plus Splash Mage into Access Code. Pop, pop, pop. Game. Okay. Uh, I should make this first, though. So that way I have an extra pop in case if it comes up. Okay. I'm down to go for it. Summon out. Yeah. I was just thinking on zones there for a second. But it doesn't matter because it's about to get linked off anyways. Summon. They're thinking here. They might actually have uh, Nib. Nib off the top would actually be okay. If I get hit with Nib, that's fine. I think so. I sh actually, I should probably still make this, though, so that way I can keep Sigma in the graveyard. Yeah, 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 I should have done that first. Um, it's fine. Yeah, just so I can keep Sigma in the graveyard, because I don't have another one on deck. I may as well try to keep an extra body. Go ahead, search. Grab addition. We still have a diameter left. That'll be a... Oh my god, you're not real. That just gets hit with a negate. They better have nib, otherwise this just makes no sense. If they have nib, then they'll have a... Widow Anchor nib. So they'll actually have the top deck. And we have Super Factorial, which we'll be able to rip. Yeah, so i definitely just go for the game uh, line now. Grab addition. Like, I was going to try to go for it anyways, but this just makes me more confident about it. Okay. Go on the Splash Mage. One, two. Do want to pick up the pace a little bit. Summon effect, summon back up from the graveyard. Um, we'll just summon out addition, I guess. Okay. Use these, make transcode, summon back out Splash Mage. Make transcode, summon back out. Uh, we have the shiz arrow that'll allow us to um, go ahead and summon the update jam or two if you're wondering. Summon out, addition effect. I'll uh, just target our own guy, I guess. Why not? Scares him a little bit more, maybe makes him admit defeat a little bit quicker. One, two. And then summon. Okay. And then go into the access code. And then that's just game. Treat it as two. Treat that as two. And then summon. Um, effects. Uh, chain link one, chain link two. You cannot respond. Uh, target out there or doesn't matter. Okay. Effect to go pop. If I doubt they have nib, but if they do, they held it for a good point because um they could go nib chain link or they could go ray chain link one nib chain link two and keep their uh, engine rolling. Hopefully they're just thinking about ray here and not about. Ray nib, <laughs> cause that that would hurt. That would actually hurt a lot. Um, but my opponent doesn't know that. Mm. Ew. 
Ah. Oh, I had a I had a hair on my tongue. I don't, I don't like having a hair on my tongue. It's it feels so bad. It feels so bad. Don't do it. You're you're not doing this. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. Oh, thank you, thank you. And they can't use it because my stuff's cooling. GG's. That scared me. Go ahead, pop. Okay, cool. Battle phase game. Well played. I guess. Bozo. Poke, poke. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. See, that is how you do it. We've had a couple of games recently where opponents have been dropping maxis in bad spots, and we've been able to just to pass turn and uh, completely capitalize on our opponent's mistakes. Because if you're unable to go for game, you shouldn't be dropping maxi in that kind of spot, even if you are able to gain advantage out of it. I'll go ahead and show the deck list now. Um, it's the same as it was before, but I'll still go ahead and show it off. Okay, so... Here's the deck list, and with all that being said, the DB Grinder, the Master Duel Grinder, signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.